Hi, I'm Ezekiel. Hope you are doing great. I welcome you into another episode of this video. Today, I'm going to talk on vocal alignment in Kwok by BandLab. In this one, I'm going to show you how I use audio snap to align the vocals. But before we move ahead, if you're new to this channel, I want you to hit the subscription button and you'll be the first person to know when I upload new great videos like this. Now, let's move on. I'll love to play this song for you and I'll explain what's going on, why we need vocal alignment. What really happened initially was the producer called me a few days after the song has been produced telling me there's a new uh, development in the uh, song arrangement. The artist wanted the pre-chorus to go into the new tempo change towards the end of the song. This is where the challenge lies on. And he couldn't call back the singers to resing this little portion. But with the art of technology nowadays, it is very simple for us to uh, be able to uh, do the vocal alignment, to copy one section to another section, to fit in, to make the vocal sound and sit on the beat very well. So let me play this section and you listen to the new tempo change uh, pre-chorus, how it sounds like and you understand the reason why we need the vocal alignment. You could hear the song dragging, lagging, and not going along the line with the beat. This is exactly the problem. And this is what I'm going to show you how I align this audio clip to fit in with the timing and to sit well. After the whole thing is done, you hear it sounding perfect. Okay, let's go into the real business now. Um, firstly, I'm going to start with this. I um, need to zoom in this section very well so we can see what we are doing. I'll need to change this clip to other transients. Then I'll move on. Okay, I'll mute the rest clip by pressing key button on the keyboard. Yeah. There's one that is correct which I'm going to use um, to follow the line. So let's listen to this too. This one's still moving correct a bit. Okay. Alright. Maybe probably I'll need to Okay, that one is still going well. So then here again, I'll need to disable the bar line, moving this one forward, and also disable this one. If it doesn't match very well, I'll need to adjust yeah the bar, then disable this. So I'll need to disable some. Okay, let's listen to this section again. Okay, um, so we'll be able to move this one if it's needed uh, for me to uh, yeah. 
I'll need to move that one more forward. Okay, let's listen to this. Okay, it's moving on gradually. So I'll need to disable this section first. Then I'll create more audio clip to align with this one. Okay. I need to move this one. I'm going to create more onto this section so it can be aligned properly. Let's listen to it again. Okay, so we are progressing. Okay, beautiful. To so I need to disable all those ones so I can allow the clips to move forward so it will be more easier for me to do my adjustment on each clip. So this one too is moving forward. So simple. I'm disabling this one too. Virtually I'm disabling everything. This is beautiful. So let's listen to this section. I'm going to create more clips here. Yeah, maybe I need to, yeah. So I need to zoom in and so that I can see what's going on in this area very well. Okay, so let me play it again. I need to listen to it. Almost on point, this section is done. But this section is not yet sitting well, so I need to move this section move it forward. Okay, listen to it again. With what I've done now, let me play this song so we'll listen to it from this section where I just started doing the alignment of the clip. For the sake of this video, I'm not going to uh, work with everyone, but we'll just listen to uh, the rest of the other clips together after I'm done. So, I'm done with this. But before I played everything to you, I quickly need to show you something. One of the best way and a quick way to do vocal alignment, one of the best way to achieve that is doing them together. But them are a bit stressful if you're not going to be in a house. It can also save your time and help you to be more accurate with what you're doing. So the next thing, after being done, I'm going to 
uh, check everything uh, to know how much everything is aligned uh, with each other. I make sure that I follow the grid to have perfect lineup with each other because I check them all together to make sure everything is done. Now I'm going to bounce them all together. Clicking, right clicking on the clips. So everything is rendering. Now everything is bounced to clips. Let's just listen and compare to each other and how it sounds. So this is the original audio. Let's listen to that. Let's listen to how perfect it is. That's all about it. It sounds beautiful and perfect. I hope you learned something in this video and I hope you enjoyed this video. Please subscribe and press the like button. Thanks for watching. Till next time. Bye.